Welcome to Darrell Walker's Coaches Show with your host, Ray Tucker. Welcome to the Little Rock Coaches Show. Ray Tucker along with head coach Darrell Walker. Kind of had a wild week. Had the Louisiana teams in here. They got greeted by snow and ice here in Little Rock. <laughs> uh, it wasn't pretty, and we thought we weren't, weren't going to be able to play the, uh, the Louisiana Lafayette game because it was so icy. I couldn't get out of my house. Coach Baker had to come pick me up in a four-wheel just to get down the hill. And that, that affected our crowd greatly. We were lucky we got anybody here. Yeah, a few people showed up, and we changed the game from 6.30 to 5.30. We thought we was going to play it at 4.30, and they agreed to 5.30, and we did play the game. All right. Uh, turned out to be a pretty good basketball game, at least for a half. We'll talk more about that when we come back with more on Little Rock Coaches Show. Stay with us. Just 40 minutes from Little Rock at the Saracen. It's always fun. Craps, poker, slot machine, lots of money will be won. Come and win or come. Get the best steak you ever had. You want to be at the Saracen. Heck, you've seen it in this ad. Woo! Saracen. Whoa, come to win. Saracen. Hard to believe, Darrell Walker, once you get into conference play, which we started uh, uh, late December, and then you turn around, and when February hits here, it's just like a downhill train. <laughs> no, it's, it's fast. I, well, we have six games left, I, I believe, four on the road and two at home. So uh, we're, we've been on a little bit of a losing streak. We have, to, we have to play better. We have to go on the road and try to win some basketball games. But the season has went so fast. Uh, it's really went fast. It hasn't went fast enough for me because of all the injuries that I've had and people have been hurt and people missing 105 games due to injuries. But – Overall, it's, it's went really, 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 really fast. I know we talked uh, last week's show about uh, you see some of the major programs co- across the country complaining, well, we got this guy hurt and that guy hurt. <laughs> and you go down your roster, you know, you can take maybe four or five deep. Uh, you've got three players that you were counting on. Uh, that, that Well, uh, let's see, DeAnthony Gordon. Played, played eight games. Eight, he played eight games. Yeah. And so you, you got two freshmen you really, really, really like. They didn't play the second. No, I mean, they're, they they just coming out of high school, uh, Jordan Jefferson and D.J. Smith. Uh, who led North Little Rock to a state championship. They have really been playing a lot of men's for us. And you can see them growing as players. So if we don't get anything else out of this season, uh, Myron Gardner, those guys are going to get some uh, significant minutes, and hopefully they could carry on and make them better players next season. All right, the Raging Cajuns of Louisiana came in here, as we said, snow and ice. Uh, early in the game, we led 19-16. The first half, there were three ties and six lead changes. Well, I, I just felt, Ray, and I had told you that if we could stay within 10 in the rebound margin, we'd have a chance to win the basketball game. If it got past 10, I felt that we were going to lose, and they out us by 23. Uh, at halftime, we were down, what, five points? I think so. I think we were down five points, and I told my team the first five minutes of the second half was going to be very important, and we went on a, a long scoring scoring drought, Ray, and the game got away from us. You shot just 29% the first half, four of 21 on threes. That won't win many basketball games. No, we have to, we have to shoot the ball better. Let's just be honest. We're very shorthanded. Our margin for error, I keep saying, is, is, is very small, but – we're guarding people where you think about it, it's 24 to 19 and a half. They only got 24 points against this team that I have on the court right now, and that's the biggest team in the conference. They big like we were two years ago. And I just told them the first five or six minutes in the second half, we got to be on point, and we just didn't play well in the second half. Yeah, and give them some too. They're a good basketball team. Uh, very good. Uh, minus your minus your big guy, Nicola March, uh, out again with a hamstring. Not sure when he's he's going to be back. That is a defining moment in your program. No, it's uh, you, you know how good Nicola is. When we throw the ball in the post to him, Ray, you do you do all of our games. Teams come and double him right away. That's our, that's out of respect. So. We can't play through him right now, so everything we're doing right now, we have to move that basketball. We have to set screens, and we got to make shots. And our defense has been good. It's it's really been good, but you can't go six, seven minutes without scoring or five minutes without scoring. That's just too much pressure on your defense, especially when you're a small basketball team right? you like mention, we are right now. You made mention of Jordan Jefferson, a true freshman out of Marietta, Georgia. 14 points, three steals. Isaiah Valarmo had 11 points, six rebounds, two assists, two steals. Very solid game for him. No, Isaiah has played well the whole year. He has made the most, I think, out of his playing time of us being injured and him being able to start. I think he's made a jump. He's played very well for us. But D.J. Smith from North Little Rock and, and Jordan Jefferson from Atlanta, I really like what I see with these two point guards. I like them a lot. The wild thing about your starting lineup, it's five guards. Uh, <laughs> Isaiah, for instance, you know, can play the two or the yeah, three. Yeah, that's what he is. Uh, yeah. he, well, he's down there playing the four uh, oftentimes. And you know what? He's developed some pretty good moves down there. No, he's he's done well down there. Well, I, Isaiah, when we recruited him, he was more of a post player than a perimeter player. And you can tell when he gets the ball in the post, he's very comfortable down there. And then we have Myron Garden at the five spot. Now, I don't try to tell these guys here at the four or five. Only time I do this is when I'm drawing a player. Other than that, we just, we're all the same size out there, to be honest about it. 
At the end, Louisiana cranked it up, and we went cold, and they won at 75-51. Yeah. Game two, Louisiana Monroe. We'll have highlights of that when we come back with more on the Little Rock Coaches Show. Sport builds us up. It strengthens our bodies. It strengthens our resolve. Sport teaches us lessons of grace or humility or humanity, and that we're far more powerful together, winning the hour or winning the year. We're winning our lives. We're winning our way. Because while a season is short, fierce is forever. Step into the new when you drive a Chevy. It's time for a fresh approach and a new perspective. Meet new friends or reconnect with some old ones and find the Chevy that's right for you. Find new experiences, find new roads. Step into the new with a new Chevy. Very well qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Chevy vehicles. Plus, on select models, current competitive owners get an additional $750 bonus cash. See your Arkansas best Chevy dealer. As we said, uh, game two was against Louisiana Monroe. That was a Saturday afternoon game, a uh, 2 o'clock game. You know, it, it's kind of crazy around the league, Daryl. Some games start, places start at 2, some at 4, some at 7, some at 8. It's, it, it's wacky. It's, it's crazy. And hopefully when we, we move to the OVC, the Ohio Valley Conference, it'll be different because these times are so, so, so different. 2 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, it's all, it's all across the board. All right, we did get a pretty good crowd for the Louisiana Monroe game, and we'll take a look now at hi highlights of this one. I was impressed with the crowd. They were loud. They were behind us. We just couldn't close it out. Ended up being an overtime game. The, the, the crowd got their money's worth. There were 15 ties and 18 <laughs> lead changes. No, it was, it was a very good basketball, very good basketball team. And uh, on both, both sides, both coaches, I thought, were prepared for the game. And, you know, they came here and got the win. But it was an entertaining game. We made some mistakes down the, down the stretch. Uh, that's Andre Jones right there with former University of Arkansas Little Rock player who's played for three or four different schools. A really good basketball player, scored 30 points on us. Uh, we moved the ball around. We had some assists. We attacked from the inside and the outside. And that's Myron Gordon right there. Myron Gordon, I should say, with a turnaround jump shot right there. It was a well-played basketball game, both teams. You know, the one thing we missed on, on weekends a lot, oftentimes is we don't have much of a, a student body in, in, in attendance. Normally we do, they come on Thursday nights right, and, and right. are very vocal. Well, you know, I, I think this upcoming, up, after this season, uh, this upcoming season, I'm going to start spending some time with our student body to get them in here. It's a beautiful move right there by Jordan Jefferson right there. He played well. I think, I believe he had 18 points in this game. They go down low to their guy, and they, they call him Mets. He's got a really long – He's a good player. Nobody, player. Nobody, nobody can pronounce that name. No, but he, but he is a very nice player, he, as you he's, said. He's a good player. That's, that's as the other day went under the screen. He popped back and got the got a friendly home bounce right there to get the basket. I never got a bounce like that, <laughs> did you? <laughs> no, that's, that's a real soft bounce right there. And that's Harrison, who's a really good player on the run right there, banking the, banking the ball in right there. Uh, it was, we went back and forth a lot in this basketball game, man. Uh, it was an entertaining game. We just didn't, like I said, down the stretch, we didn't do what we needed to do to win the basketball game. We kind of gave it to him. That's Kevin Osawi. Yeah. He's put the ball on the floor and, and two dribbles pull up for a shot. That's kind of his move right there when he makes one. I thought, you know, this is, this is Jones with an unbelievable dunk. We're late defensively for the weak side on help right there. And we're tied at 19 uh, all with about six minutes to go in the half. A lot of ties. That's, that's, that's C.J. White making a three right there. Uh, we shot the ball a lot better uh, from the three, 36 percent, than we did against Lafayette. I thought defensively we were pretty good. Uh, when the game was uh, uh, fourth quarter, was the second half was over, it was 64-64. So that let me know that both teams had guarded well, and we had guarded well. That was D.J. Smith out of the corner and Isaiah on the tip end. Yeah, Isaiah had, a, had, a, had another solid basketball game. Uh, that's Myron, who's a real skilled player. And when he can make that shot, that opens up his drive for him. You know, I, I, I sometimes end up coaching on the radio coach. And I go, Myron, when you catch that and you're wide open, shoot it. Don't, don't wait for the defense to react. Well, you understand, he hadn't played a lot of minutes. And this, this is all new for him. And I'm just – Keep coaching him and keep teaching him in practice. When you open, take the shot. Don't start putting the ball on the floor. Take the shot. All right. That, those were f highlights from the first half. Now we go to the second half here. And that, by the way, is Louisiana Monroe in the gold uniform. Yeah. I mean, they, they're, they're a solid basketball team. That's uh, Andrew Jones again. Uh, he had 30 points against us. Really played well. Beautiful move right there by Jordan Jefferson right there. What a really nice move, nifty move by the freshman. He gets a steal right here. And you didn't think he could dunk, but he could. He really can dunk. He just laid it in right there. Right? He's, he's pretty athletic, trust me. 
Nothing worse to be a player and miss a dunk and have to go back to the bench. Go back and see it. Beautiful move right there by Isaiah right there. And you're up one. Yeah, we, it's back and forth. This game was just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, both teams. Beautiful pass as Jordan Jefferson again, knock him down another three. You had a had a 9-0 run in this half. Yeah, we did, and we were trying to trying to trying to get some uh, some cushion between us, maybe six or seven points. We just never could. They kept making shots and staying, staying right close to us, and that's what you should do on the road when you're playing on the road. But defensively, I thought we were pretty good uh, for our size. I thought we rebounded the basketball. We out rebounded them 34 to 26, and that kept us in the basketball game. That's the young freshman DJ Smith making the three right there. Uh, you got to understand, we have we have two freshmen out there playing, man, and you know. And Myron Garden hasn't played in a lot of minutes because he's been hurt. So it's, this is a this is a, a process that's going to be going on to the season. So with and hopefully we carry in the next year. Some of this stuff would help us. But it may be later in the season. But you're playing true freshmen against veteran guards oh, who've yes. been in this league four or five years. Yes, that's DJ coming off the curl right there for a shot. And hopefully, you know, I, we've been playing good basketball, right? We just haven't been pulling the games out to win. So anything can happen when we get down to Pensacola, Florida. Uh, you know, there's no reason why we just can't play. We'll start winning, playing well at the right time. This game was tied 64 into regulation, and that that uh, was that DJ or no? It was Jordan. That was Jordan. Jordan, that was Jordan. Uh, Jordan can flat out shoot the basketball. You know, one thing you you can't teach that there are players who who, who live for the moment. Uh, to, to take the game-winning shot. Yeah. And there are other guys that don't want the ball in their they hands when it all. comes down to crunch time. Uh, I don't, uh, Jordan made some mistakes in crunch time. I, I just it, it, it was just a freshman mistake, and it is what it is because you're starting two freshmen out there. Uh, we explained to him what we needed. He just didn't follow through and get it done. Besides, they were making a beautiful move right there and, and one. Uh, that was a big, big, big shot right there. And like you said, Isaiah's been playing good basketball. Isaiah spends a lot of time on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's put together pretty good, too. Great penetration right there. Really good ball of movement. Nice pull-up jump shot right there by DJ. People don't understand how tough a shot that is. No, most, people, most guys can't shoot off the dribble. He can shoot off the dribble. Run a little flex action right there, moving the basketball. Isaiah's wide open for a shot, knocked it down. Uh, it was just back and forth the whole game, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Finally, in this one, ended up being 75-72. Yeah. Uh, but, again, uh, kudos to the crowd, first of all, for being there, and secondly, for being very vocal. Oh, they were vocal. They were loud. And they saw a really good basketball game by two, by two really good basketball teams. And, you know, I don't want to sound crazy, but we're, we're playing really good. We're just so small, and our margin for error is so little uh, that you almost have to play perfect, and it's hard to play perfect. It just is. All right. Here we go, the overtime period. Uh, overtime. You know, it was it was crunch time. That's that's Myron making a nice move right there. I thought he played pretty solid. He he, he did some things he wasn't supposed to do defensively, but it's it's a process with him learning. Beautiful pass by CJ right there. We've really moved the basketball really good. That's Jordan Jefferson, the freshman again, knocking it down. I and mean, we're just trying to get some some cushion. Nice move by I can't pronounce his name. They call him Nish, and he's they call, a, call him Mets. Mets, and he's a good he's a good player. <laughs> There are a couple of names like that in, in the league. There's one, uh, Texas Arlington, that just call him uh, KO. Yeah, well, uh, you gotta, you got you to cut it off. <laughs> you got to cut it off. All right. Good fair. game. Good game, though. Final score, Trojans fall in overtime, 75-72. Now it's uh, back to the road, uh, <laughs> two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row. Uh, we head to Mobile on Thursday and then play at Troy on, on Saturday. Saturday. And so we will uh, uh, take a little preview of that when we come back with more of the Darrell Walker Coaches Show. Back in a moment. It's time to expect more from yourself, from us, from the typical college experience. UA Literoc offers world-class programs, including business, computer science, criminal justice, cybersecurity, engineering, and nursing. But there's so much more. Expect to be amazed by state-of-the-art facilities. Expect to be challenged by motivated faculty. And expect a welcome place in the heart of Arkansas. University of Arkansas at Literoc.
Back on the road for our Little Rock Trojans, we had to head south this time. Uh, last road trip, we went to the Carolinas. We're going to Alabama, play um, play South Alabama on Thursday, Troy on on Saturday. On Saturday. And South Alabama's got some a couple of guys that are in the top five in scoring in the league. No, they got a very good basketball team. They got they got a lot of guys that have transferred transferred in from from high major schools. Uh, they're very talented. They can go off the dribble. They're really good in transition. So we're going to have to – nothing changes with us, Ray. We're going to have to rebound that basketball, keep guarding the way we've been guarding, and then we get just got to gotta make some shots, Ray. we got to make some – we make some shots that really energizes our defense. And got to make shots at crucial times. Yes. That's one yes. of the things that's bothered us. Yes, it, it is. But also more than making shots at a crucial time, Ray, you can't go six, seven, eight minutes without scoring. That's just hard, especially when you're shorthanded. So – Hopefully we can make some shots and keep guarding the way we've been guarding. I know you play. Your coaches play them one at a time. Yes, <laughs> you, you, you do, do have Troy. Uh, I'm looking at some numbers here very quickly. They're playing. They're playing. They're playing well. They're in the top four in the conference. They're, they're playing well. I haven't looked at them uh, to scout them yet, but I, I will after the South Alabama game. I'm just locked in on South Alabama right now. Darren Walker, I hope this next week that we're talking about two wins on the oh, road. Oh, that would be great. It's, it's overdue. It's time for us to get a win. All right. That's going to do it for this week's uh, Daryl Walker's Coaches Show. We hope you'll join us again next week. Until then, you folks stay warm and safe.